so Chucky will turn to the other two as a whole, I suppose, and say, I did forget to mention one thing. Um, but during the time that we were separated, I encountered someone we have met before, and he requested that once we are done here, we meet up with him and assist him. Who is this person that you met? Genosuke. Genosuke? Yes? The Vagabond. I believe he is a bounty hunter. What is it he wanted? He would like our assistance in dealing with a matter I do not have all the details. Once again, the lack of details. But there were other concerns at the time. I'm assuming payment will be forthcoming. Yes, he mentioned payment. However, I also believe I now owe him a favor. With all this assistance and getting invited to events, I sometimes wonder if, we'd, we're, if we'll ever arrive at Lord Mephene's uh, palace. It would be rude to refuse. Indeed. To the lion's den, then. I hope it is not a den. The castle looms over the town, casting its long shadow across the surrounding land. Two large statues of armoured samurai on horseback line the entrance, a memorial to long-ago heroes. Banners in bright yellow with black writing line the thoroughfare. The buildings have a very functional feel to them. They have more stone than many that you have seen and appear to be built with fortifications in mind. The streets appear to be haphazard in design to not give an enemy a direct line to the castle and the thoroughfare can be flooded. There are no samurai in view but lion. I know that we were invited, but it still feels rather strange to be here. Yes, it does beg to question the practicalities of um, such events. I don't really see the need for all the pomp. I truthfully do not know exactly what this event is. Forgive me, I, th I thought you knew the reason. Um, I don't. I, I know why we are invited. I simply do not know what the event itself is. Uh, it was simply listed as a gathering. Well, if it's anything to do with the lion, then I would um, surmise that it's probably some... Um, military celebration or coronation um, coronation <laughs> I don't know Coron <laughs> they're crowning their own emperor here <laughs> they're, uh. they're just crowning some Joe blog off the street welcome to the clan <clears throat> you are now oh. the king <laughs> of the line. you are now the king yes <laughs> we've had emperors before <laughs> We still this do, is no. but this is no. we have a king. Yeah. But you're a king, yeah. I suppose we will find out. Uh, who are we to meet? The letter did not say to meet anyone in particular. It was signed by a Hodan Matsu. I suppose we could ask for... For him? I guess we shall go and ask a guard. 
So as you approach the main gate, you can see there are three guards, two armed with Yari and one with the Katana. And something that you notice compared to the other places you've been, they are uh, partly armoured, whereas nearly all the other places the guards are, are more in... Um, they're neat, you know, very, very organised, but they're wearing base, the basic sort of clothing. There's more comfort. Whereas here, as you're looking around, there's not a single samurai that isn't unarmoured in some some form. They are not wearing their full Oyerie from top top to bottom, but they are wearing the cuirass and the thigh guards and the shin guards and that. Um, the higher the rank, the more armour they seem to be be wearing uh, and the gate guard also has the arm and wrist greaves that he that he's wearing and as you approach he steps forward and raises his hand in a motion to stop he does not appear to be aggressive but there is a slight level of surprise as if you are you in the right place is on on his face and in his eyes. He bows slightly and the two on either side of the gate bow their their heads. They don't do a deep bow, but they do do bow. Can I help you, Samurai? You were asked to be here and she will hand over the letter that she still has. And he looks a little puzzled, but he reaches out and he takes the letter and he opens it up. He holds it open, and he is reading through it. He does the Yabusan head nod when he gets to the uh, the signatory, where he has to look at it closely. And by closely, he does the Yabusan, which is... Huh? And then he folds it back up, and he hold, hands it back out to you, and, she, and turns around, take. and he snaps his fingers, and from the other side of the the gate, a young samurai runs up. He says, and he points to Rin, not like you know aggressively, just points to to Rin and Chiaki, and he says, "Take the samurai to the guest quarters." Your servant can stay with the peasants. Uh, and Chiaki looks to Rin. Daisuke no, looks back to Rin and she looks quite displeased and she signs to him. He catches some words like stable a mayor and we'll fetch you and he catched one of the last bits of her signing to him. And you think it was some form of insult. Telling him to grow up or something like that. Calling him a child. And she slides down off a mayor. The young samurai that had run up bows you. And he says, I am Jiro. If you will follow me, please. And Chiaki will bow and follow. Mm -hmm. A jovial peasant goes over to Daisuke and shows him the way to the stables. Daisuke will thank the peasant. <laughs> uh, Please say thank will... you, peasant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Don't, Don't get lippy you. with me. I used to hunt your flying variety. <laughs> <laughs> Daisuke will thank the peasant and follow the peasant to the stables, I'm assuming. Yeah, but he's not sleeping in the stables. Not unless he yeah, chooses to. He's got to know. <laughs> he can if he wants. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not like, you know, get in there with the filth. Yeah. And... You're moving through the city, and it's a slightly winding path, not as straight as some of the others. 
anyone who has any form of warfare training realizes this is to make it difficult for the enemy just to have straight lines to the castle. And you pass a open area of a, a field, it's about 100 meters square, and there's about 200 samurai in their training. And you're led to the castle. It feels like Jiro has some questions, but he's being also very polite, because you're not lying. And yeah. it's obvious you're not lying. And you can see, still, no other lion. No other not lion. Sorry. No other not lion. Yes, they're all no other... they're they're all different of the different families, but they are all of the same clan. You're the only outsiders in this particular case. Yep. But he's too polite to ask. And as you enter the castle, the guards at the front gate to the actual castle bow as you pass, as do at the intervals within. Uh, there's not excessively regular guards, but there are regular guards. They don't seem to be watching you. You don't get any feeling that this is extra security because they have outsiders here. It just feels that they naturally have a lot more guards. <laughs> and he leads you to a large room, and it's it is reasonably large for what it is, too. Jiro bows and says, I am on duty for the next six hours. You will always have someone that will be available to attend to your needs. Um, thank you. You are most welcome. Is there anything you require? Uh, Saito, son. And Rin looks at Shiaki and motions for drink. Uh, if we could please have some tea. Of course. And he shuffles backwards, and bows, and you see two samurai uh, have come down the hall and taken position outside your door. No, Chuck is just very confused about the whole thing and still wondering why they're there and mostly wishing they weren't. Uh, Saito-san, I have a question. Uh, I apologize for my rudeness as I do not know if he has a last name, but... Is Daisuke not samurai? She takes a deep breath and almost sighs it out, but there's no noise, but it's a long, drawn-out breath. And she looks down at the floor and holds up her right hand in a fist. And Then why is it that he does not? say so well, she points her finger to her head and flicks it away I see well if you do not know then I do not suppose there is any reason for me to well uh Chiaki is still entirely confused will I suppose just Sit and yeah. drink tea whenever it yep, and arrives. She sits down at the table and she simply signs, we shall drink tea. And the door slides open and it's a girl in her mid-teens. And she picks up the tray of tea, which is on the ground, and very agilely rolls back onto her heels as she gets up. And the kimono not giving much room for the legs to move does appear to slide into the room and she goes back down to her knees and puts the, the tea down and then bows. Will there Thank be anything you. else? I do not believe so, uh, Saito-san. No, she thank you. She bows again. Very good. 
and she backs out of the room and closes the door. And you can see Jiro is sitting on the opposite side of the hall. This very unusual. She sort of shrugs at you. It's in why. Uh, uh, it is unusual for me in that I am not used to this. Uh, Rin points to herself and then does the same thing as she did before. And she doesn't know. She, I'm saying that she's confused now. I, um, have you been many places like this? She shakes her head. I have not either, and it is strange to think that there are people who just sit in case we want anything. And she signs back home, yes. Ah. Where I am from, there is nothing quite like this. And her head cocks to the side, questioningly. It is a minor clan, so there are not... Uh large castles such as this and truthfully only spent much time at my family's own property. And she signs to you something that you sort of pick up saying like perhaps you in the trees? I have spent a great deal of time in the forest, yes. The Kitsune Mori is uh, a major part of the Fox Clan lands. It is a large forest. A lot of the, the rest of the sign language you don't sort of catch, but you get the feeling that she's trying to explain to you that most of her time is spent in places well, like this. But in actual fact, she's trying to explain that it's not exactly the same, but it, <laughs> it, it, it's similar. There's more pomp involved. <laughs> more, yeah. She's like, no, this isn't even much at all. And Chiaki's yeah, like, how could you much. be in places like this? Yeah. <laughs> I do not believe I would be able to handle spending much time in places such as this. Oh. And Rin frowns. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> do you think we are supposed to stay here, or should we try and meet back up with Daisuke? Rin nods and then shakes her head. We should stay here. Um, all right, Chucky, we'll continue to drink tea until something happens. Okay, so for two days you are <laughs> drink drinking tea. tea. <laughs> no, you left. You left. Although you left to your own devices, you oh. are allowed to tour the town. Um, you're not prisoners, so I know. You you do have an escort to some degree, but not again. You don't feel that they are watching over you in a constrictive sort of way. It's just you are afforded a level. No, not that. So you're, you're allowed to wander the city and, you know, anywhere that isn't. Um, if there are parts, obviously, you're not allowed to go, but that's would be the same in any castle run by any any clan. But you have, you're not prisoners. You can go where you want and explore. And well, Rin will check on Amaya each day and make sure that 
Daisuke is faring okay. Um, so, okay, for Daisuke, the peasants um, are very relaxed. They drink sake, they play games, they play music. Oh, now this is home to Daisuke. I was going to say, right. he's like, oh, I, I am not leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their quarters so are simple, scared. but dry and warm, and, you know, yeah. they're not treated like, like trash. Yeah, so Daisuke is faring fairly well. And on the evening of the third day, Jiro slides the door open and bows and says there is a dinner. If you will please arrange yourselves, I will collect you in 30 minutes. Yes, uh, thank you. And he bows and backs out of the room and the two guards slide the doors closed. And Chiaki is immediately trying to think of what the nicest clothes she has is, and I think it's the ones that Rin bought her, the armor, sort of, secret armor inside mm -hmm. clothes. So she's secret gonna put... Armor? Yeah, it's concealed ar you... Rin got you her forgot? this concealed yeah, no, armor no, stuff. No, it I'm looks just, like I'm just thinking regular clothes. Secret armor is like yeah. covered in gold and... Secret armor. Not that secret armor. It's not that secret if you if you're gonna wear it. Well, well, secret as in the armor's concealed. It just looks like clothes. Therefore, it's oh, secret. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's fine clothes, right? Yeah. Yep. So she will put on those. Practical yet <laughs> defensive. Great. If anybody starts a fight at the fancy dinner, she's all good. Yep. Autobots roll out. <laughs> Says Rin. We in Spanish. Assemble ourselves. Yes. All right. Uh, Chiaki will spend some time sort of getting ready. And I assume we are ready. And Jiro stands and leads, and the two guards will trail behind you. Chiaki continues to feel extremely out of place. He leads you through the castle and up towards the, the top. And you don't think it's the top of the castle, but it's definitely a couple of floors up. And ahead is a double set of doors, and there's two samurai kneeling next to them. And as you approach, your two samurai from behind move off and sit outside. And the two that are on guard duty there come up on one knee and slide the doors open. Within... You can see it's about 120 meters long. There is about six rows of samurai on each side, amounting to about maybe 300 samurai. And Jiro leads you into the room. As you pass each row, they bow. Hey. Uh, Chiaki will bow to everyone as well. We will follow where he leads. And he goes, it's about halfway down, and there's two spots in the front row there, and he turns and, with his right hand, motions. All right, Chiaki will kneel. And at the front, there's a dais, and upon it, there is a samurai with dark black hair. He's quite handsome. He's in his 50s. He looks what you would probably expect a history book general to look like. His eyes are sharp and intelligent. His kimono and coat is spectacular in its quality. His wife is amazing. She's extremely attractive. She's wearing a yellow and black kimono with lion motif, and she has hair that is like the mane of a lion. It's big, and it's thick, and it's flowing. It, it would almost be comical if she didn't wear it so well. 
you can almost feel their presence. Like, they are definitely not low-ranking samurai. But not just because they have rank. They... That, that feeling of rank and ability is emanating from them. And Chiaki can see by some of the uh, accessories that she is wearing that she is a Shukenja. Okay. Hodan Matsu most definitely is a Bushi. Over the course of the night, there is extremely good food, there is extremely good drink, and there is extremely good entertainment that goes on for some time. And near the end of the evening, he talks with his attendant at the front, and then the attendant steps forward. And he turns to the room, and he calls out, Rin Saito-san and Chiaki Biako-san, please come forward. And Rin's eyes widen, and she turns and looks pale-faced at Chiaki. As... Who is looking equally as uh, surprised, and perhaps more petrified. And the room has fallen completely completely silent and all eyes have turned to you all right um chiaki is looking to rin and hoping she will stand up first and do something rin will stand up first and bow to the main table and then hold a hand out for chiaki who will get up and follow suit your first assessment of Hodan Matsu only gets more strong the closer you get to him. You can feel his for want of a better word, power. He's definitely quite high up in the Lion Clan. Hodan is looking at you both. I did not expect you to be so young. The reports from my warriors when they retrieved the child did not mention that. You have done us a great service. It was nothing. Oh, indeed not. It was most definitely something. And for a clan that you are not part of. While a samurai is to serve, it does not mean that it cannot be rewarded from time to time. And his wife hands over a small lacquered box to Hodan, who then holds it out to the attendant, who takes it and goes over to Rin, and he bows slightly, and holding it between his two hands, he holds it out. Uh... Rin holds up her hands and takes the lacquered box. <laughs> and seems very apprehensive, like she thinks it's going to bite her or something. <laughs> um, she'll briefly stand and take the box and bow, and then uh, Rin looks at Chiaki. Who will sort of, I guess, give a slight nod, as in, um, go ahead she, if you wish. So sort of sh shakes her head a little bit and uh, looks back down at the lacquered box, and yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Um, and Rin will look down hesitantly at the lacquered box and slowly open it. And within is a very fine tea set, and. You both can recognize the oh maker's mark <laughs> is indeed the same as the one that Genosuke was carrying. Is it the same pattern? Yes. As in it's the same tea set? Yes. But it is very fine and very elegant and 
probably quite expensive. Chiaki will uh, have a moment of surprise upon recognizing the tea set and then perhaps slightly smile uh, because it is kind of funny, but will not say anything about that at all because that would be strange. <laughs> Matsu's wife holds out a small wrapped paper. It is folded and it's about two feet long and about three inches wide and she hands it to him and he hands it to the attendant who comes back over to Rin and he says uh, as in and he holds it out again with both hands sitting it in his palms and Hodan says I have heard your attendant is an archer this is the bowstring made from the silk of the golden weave spider. It will not break. She cocks her head slightly and smiles and nods and then holds her hands out, accepts the, the gift. And she bows again. And Hodan steps like climbs up, turns around, an attendant runs over to him. Hodan gets to his feet, a samurai comes up behind him, and he takes something from him. The attendant moves out of the way. He walks up to Chiaki. Who is surprised? With his right hand holding it over the cloth. He extends his hand, his arm fully out, and he is holding a katana. Uh, and she is very confused, and she will, if he's holding it out to her, she will take it and bow. And he nods and goes back and sits down. And she's like, why do I have a sword? I already have a sword. What is happening? You can already feel that it is of very fine make. And the scabbard is a swirling emerald green. Tsuba, which is always of a decorative nature, is a forest. And you can see a fox huh. is hiding within it. Well, she will smile slightly at that. He says it is made by one of the great houses. It will not break. And she will bow again. You have done us a great service, and we are appreciative of it. Behind you, the room bows low. And Chiaki is the most uncomfortable ever. And why do you think I've done it? <laughs> Alright, uh, Chiaki is looking to Rin, as in, help, what do we do? Please, something? <laughs> Rin will um, stand back up and bow deeply to the court, and then turn and Which... bow to everybody else. And then, Chiaki will copy that. <laughs> and then slowly glide back to our seats. And okay. at the end of the evening, everyone starts to, at their own pace, return, like get up and leave and head to their own quarters. Should we go and find Daisuke to give him the bowstring? Um, Rin immediately shakes her head. No? I see. Back to the guest quarters then? And Rin nods. Alright. Then I assume we can find Jiro to escort us back to... He is waiting guest. outside with the 
two samurai guards. All right. All right, we head back to the guest quarters. Take a look at this katana more in depth than seemed polite to do with everybody staring at them. So she will unsheath it. She will examine it more closely and she will think, uh, yeah, she doesn't have probably the proper amount of appreciation for it that she would if she was more familiar with weapons, but she likes it. So her opinion of it is good. So the, even if it is the not. wrapping is forest green. Mm -hmm. The there's a On each side, there's an ornament which is partly designed to help keep everything tight. It is a fox. She can see when she's tilting it in the light, there is a faint green tinge to the metal. Okay. Yes, she likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Rin's going to hold on to the bowstring for a little while. <laughs> All right, well, if it's night and nothing else happens, Chiaki will go to sleep. And the following day, when you're in the garden... A samurai in his late twenties and a woman who is holding a small child walk up to you. They bow. We did not have an opportunity to see you at the dinner. I would like to thank you for what you have done. My name is Nensho Himitsu. Ah, you are the boy's father. I am. And this is my wife and his mother, Hinata Himitsu. Uh, pleased to meet you. And Chiaki will bow to them both. Mm, Rin will bow. I was very surprised to learn of your attendance. They had not told me that they had invited you. I see. How is he doing? He is doing quite well. He is in our clan's capital, training quite hard. He is exceptionally gifted. Yes, that was apparent. Which is both a blessing and a curse. I see. I am most happy that he has such an unusual and talented gift, but it also means that we don't get to see him very often. That must be hard. Uh, it is unfortunate we were not able to see him. I would have liked to thank him again for his assistance. I'm sure he would have liked that. He likes meeting new people. Well, when we met him, I was injured and he assisted me. He seems to possess some abilities that are not very common for the Lion Clan in the Shugenja schools. I see. It is one reason why they are so appreciative of his safe return. Well, we are pleased he is safe. As are we. And he motions to the grounds and the, 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 the overall area around. How are you finding our lands? I'm sure they are very different to what you are used to with the fox. Uh, yes, it is a unusual experience for me. I can imagine. I handle some of the merchant elements within our clan, so I've traveled more than some of my companions. Ah. Although I have never travelled to the Fox Lands, but I believe you are very nature-based. Would that be fair to say? Yes, we do not have lands that are fit for farming, so 
uh, hunting is our main source of, well, most things. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Um, I believe that Saito-san here is rather more in her element. Rin looks at Chiaki. Confused that Chiaki's saying she's more used to this? Hmm. And she shrugs. <laughs> she's she's used to this. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. She picks a flower off one of the plants and smells it. <laughs> All right, Jackie's like, I see she does not want to be part of this conversation. I guess I won't refer to her again. <laughs> 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 Uh, we are, however, of course, very honored to have been invited. It does not happen very often. Uh, so we have been told. And Rin sort of... Uh, Rin stops smelling the flower and looks up to the sky and... Saito's son would like to know how it is your son ended up being captured. He was returning to the capital with an entourage. They were ambushed. Matsu-sama feels he was the intended target and knowledge of his journey had been given. He is investigating where the leak in the dam may have originated. I see. We are not entirely sure whether this was to weaken the lion or sacrificing our son to some Maho end. It seems to suggest more the latter when mm, we found him. Nods. His mentors would agree with you. His journey did not take him through Slow Tide Harbour. Well, I am pleased that ours did. As am I, it was fortuitous for us and for him. It's... allowed a slightly happier end to our task there as there was another individual whose parents were concerned for his whereabouts and we were not able to safely reunite them. I am sorry to hear that. It must be most distressing for them. I am sure. Well, I hope you enjoy the remainder of your stay. I have a meeting with Matsusama. We are dealing with another clan that is trying to, to push an unfair trade deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure was ours. And they both bow lower than their station normally would in appreciation for what you have done. Chiaki will bow. Rin will bow. And they move off. All right. Chiaki will continue wandering around the garden and... Less otherwise directed? The Legend of the Five Rings role-playing game is available from Edge Studios, starring Raven and Sane as Rin, Emily as Chiaki, and Ghost as the Storyteller. Sounds and music were provided by Sirenscape and Nash Music Library. This has been a Crit Fail production. Thank you very much for listening. Because hmm? of the whole scorpion thing. Yeah. Oh.
All right. That's all I got. What? What I said. The lion. Meow. <laughs> Everything I said is all I have written down. Okay. And he's about to ask, what do you have written down? <laughs> I was about to ask that. The things I said. Just Which moments were? ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sort of went into my head. <laughs> Being around invited. a little bit. Hey? We got invited. Yeah, we got invited. Lion no, no, Clan no. gathering for no, no, saving no. That's probably the why kid. I stopped listening. To save a kid. No, not to well, save the kid. We you've already, already saved the kid. Oh, you're, we already saved the kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Aaron said, didn't he? No, he didn't. Did you say I, that before? I said it. Um, we're invited yeah, for saving before. the kid who's the son yeah. of Nencho Himitsu. And you may not, may or may not have made some poor decisions. That was later. Well, yeah, that happened after we got the letter inviting us. That was okay. a separate matter. So Nothing to do with the Lion the Clan. Gig? We haven't been there yet. That's where we're going. Wait, so how can you make poor decisions if we haven't even gone there yet? Because we, I made my poor decisions on the way. We got separated on the way. You two have to catch up with me. I made my poor oh, decisions okay. elsewhere at a different time in the past. Okay. It is now the past and therefore it doesn't matter. Wait, we're in the past? No! My god, this is the blooper reel. Chucky's poor decisions are in the past until she makes oh. new ones. Okay, so we're in the future now. In the present. I would say the present. <laughs> the present. Okay. We're in the present. We've presumably met up at this point. Gotten back as a group instead of two well, separate. Technically, I'm in the future from the last time that I've played. So, yes. But that's always true when you start a game. It's never the exact same thing as you did before therefore it's always the future 